Let me guess. Lady, what is it that you need? Uh, I must have misheard you. I thought you asked me to help you trap a dragon in my palace. What you're asking for is insane. Impossible. Prevent you want you me to let a dragon into the heart of my city do more for with the, the threat of war on my doorstep? You have me do, Rangar. Your brother is the Jarl. You know I All can't question doing. his judgment. The world eater himself. To defy the Jarl. But Just to how can we fight eyes. him? Doesn't his Your return mean it's the end times? Thoughts to the war. You're his steward. He'll listen to you. I don't know about such Rangar. things. But I heard the Greybeard summon you. That's good enough for me. Now what's this nonsense about trapping a dragon in my palace? I want to help you, Dragonborn. And I will. But I need your help first. Ulfric and General Tullius are both just waiting for me to make a wrong move. Do you think they will sit idle while the dragon is slaughtering my men and burning my city? No. I can't risk weakening the city while we are under the threat of enemy attack. I'm sorry. Then I would be glad to help you with your mad dragon trapping scheme, but getting both sides to agree to a truce will be difficult at this point. The bitterness has gone too deep. Maybe. Hmm. What of the Greybeards? They are respected by all Nords. High Hrothgar is neutral territory. If the Greybeards were willing to host a peace council, then maybe Ulfric and Tullius would have to listen. I, Dragonborn. Maybe you can stop the dragons and this war into the bargain. My men will be ready when you are, Dragonborn. You have a truce to arrange first, eh? If it's the war you're referring to, I'm on the side of Whiterun. No doubt General Tullius and his friends in the Empire will tell you that I owe them my loyalty. And perhaps I do. Ulfric Stormcloak would say that I owe my allegiance to the Nord people as they fight for Skyrim's independence. Perhaps this is also true. The day might come when I am forced to draw my sword for one side or the other. But that day has not come yet. Now, if you don't mind, I've got a city to keep. Alduin? 
We heard the Dragon Ren shout from here. You defeated him? I feared as much. I thought it was him we saw flying east after your battle. We are not warriors. What is overlooked in the Dragonborn is not permitted to any other followers of the Way of the Voice. You misunderstand our authority. The Greybeards have never involved themselves in political affairs. I see. The dragon will lead you to Aldwin, but without the Jarl's help. Parthenax has made the decision to help you. This is the road we have to walk. Even the Greybeards must bend to the winds of change, it seems. So be it. Tell Ulfric and General Tullius that the Greybeards wish to speak to them. We will see if they still remember us. Dragons have the inborn ability to learn and project their voice. Dragons also are able to absorb the power of their slain brethren. A few mortals are born what you have already... Some believe that Dragonborn are sent into the world by the gods at times of great need. We will speak... Deliver the message to the warring parties. If they will listen, I will do what I can to bring them to terms. Breath and focus. Being old's not so bad. Daughter keeps me fed. I'm not interested, Jari. It doesn't done. matter how many times you ask. Got to thinking. Maybe I'm the dragonborn, and I just that. don't know it yet. You're missing out on some wonderful opportunities. I don't abide fancy clothes, but you look like you might. I hear Radiant Raiments has a large selection. Are my men now giving free reign to anyone who wanders into the castle? Do you have some reason to be here, citizen? Have we? Oh, oh, of course. You were at Helgen. One of the prisoners, if I recall correctly. Hadvar's alive. I hope that's true. He's a damn good soldier. But he hasn't reported in yet, so he can't exactly confirm your story. In the meantime, why don't you have a chat with Legged Ricca? I suspect we might have use for someone resourceful like you. Not many survived, Helgen. Besides, I'm sure your being in prison was all a terrible misunderstanding. I'm telling you, Ulfric's planning an attack on Whiterun. He'd be insane to try. Speak with Legged Ricca. The Greybeards. What do those old hermits want with me? Why, there's nothing to discuss as long as that traitor Ulfric is in arms against his rightful emperor. They are getting to be a problem. But I wasn't sent to Skyrim to fight dragons. My job is to quell this rebellion, and I intend to do just that. Dragons or no dragons. Fair enough. We're driving the Stormcloaks back well enough at the moment, but we're already overstretched. 
That's what comes of trying to win a war with a bare handful of legions. If the Ember would just give me the reinforcements I've requested. Yes, yes, fine. I'll come to this Greybeard Council. For all the good it will do. That's not what my scouts report, sir. Every day more join his cause. Riften, Dawnstar, and Winterhold support him. It's not a cause. It's a rebellion. Call it whatever you like, Jeff. Draw that one from the college. Heard about it. Everything all right? Winterhold won't give us a straight answer. He's a true Nord. He'll come around. Don't be so sure of that. We've intercepted couriers from <coughs> Solitude. The Empire's putting a great deal of pressure on White Run. And what would you? I remember you. You were at Helgen with us. Come to join the war. Speak with Garmar. He handles the new recruits. Good. If he's not with us, he's Speak against with us. Speak Garmar. It's about time they turned their gaze from the heavens back to our bleeding homeland. What do they want? I have the greatest respect for the Greybeards, of course. And the dragon attacks are a growing plague. But the political situation is still delicate. Not all the Jarls are fully committed to supporting me as High King. I can't afford to appear weak. I can't agree to this unless Tullius himself will be there. Good. We still hold half of Skyrim despite everything the Empire can throw at us. I doubt the Empire has the stomach for much more bloodletting. Yes, I'll give Tullius one more chance to quit Skyrim with his tail between his legs. He knows that. They all know that. How long are you going to wait? You think I need to send Gorgroth a stronger message? If by message you mean shoving a sword through his gullet. Violence are gathered here in these halls whose very stones are dedicated to peace. I should not have agreed to host this council. The Greybeards have no business involving ourselves in such matters. Peace? <laughs> I doubt it. They may put their weapons down for a moment, but only to gather strength for the next bloodletting. They are not yet tired of war. Far from it. Do you know the ancient Nord word for war? Season unending. And so it has proved. But regrets are pointless. Here we are. Take your seat at the council table. And let us see what wisdom we can find among these warriors of Skyrim. So, Arn Gear, is it? You know why we're here. Are you going to let us in or not?
Now that everyone is here, please take your seats so we can begin. I hope that we have all come no. here in the spirit you of... you insult us by bringing her to this negotiation? Your chief Talos hunter? That didn't take long. Here, here. I have every right to be at this negotiation. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's part of the Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please. If we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input on this matter. By Izmir's beard, the nerve of those Imperial bastards, eh? To think that I would sit down at the same table with that. Found more bitch. Either she walks or I do. Maybe so, but bringing her here is a deliberate provocation. Talius needs to know I won't be pushed around. Hmm. It feels like a mistake to me. But I'll bow to your judgment on this. But she is to observe. Nothing more. We are not negotiating with her. Is that clear? Elfric, why so hostile? After all, it's not the Thalmor that's burning your farms and killing your sons. She's supposed to be on our side? You no, know exactly. No. Not this time. Now that that's settled, may we proceed? I have something to say first. Here we go. The only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the Dragon Menace. There's nothing else to talk about. Unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over the free people of Skyrim. I knew he wouldn't We're be able to resist. A temporary truce to allow the Dragonborn here to deal with the dragons, nothing more. I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? Yes, let's get this over with. Are we ready to proceed? Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, this council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar, and do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. Who would like to open the negotiations? Yes, let's get down to it. We want control of Markar. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Jarl Elisif. General, this is outrageous. You can't be taking this demand seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Elisif, I said I'd handle it. Ulfric, you can't seriously expect us to give up Markarth at the negotiating table. You hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in battle, is that it? I'm sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. That'd be entirely out of character. I want in return. Wait, General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that traitor? This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? Enough! First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste of time. You are a traitor to the Empire, and deserve a traitor's death. But I at least will negotiate in good faith. Since we're all here at your request, I'd like to hear what you think Markarth is worth. Hmm. The Rift would help secure our communications with Cyrodiil, and threaten Ulfric's southern flank. You heard the man, Ulfric. We've made you a fair offer. Are you serious about these talks, or are you just here to posture? I expected better from you, Dragonborn. I came here in good faith, and now it seems you held the Empire at every turn. As for you, General Tullius, I see now that Garmar was right. 
Talking to the Empire is just as useless as ever. If you think you can hold Markarth, you're as deluded as your Emperor when he signed away our freedom for Lothalmor. Skyrim will never again bow to your false Empire. Let's go, Galmar. I should have listened to you in the first place. You always were a fool, Ulfric. You're no better at diplomacy than you are in the battlefield. Is he with you, Delphi? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me. And I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Now, back to the matter at hand. We have nothing to talk about until Parthenax is dead. We have nothing to talk about until Parthenax is dead. These terms are satisfactory to my government. The truce is unlikely. 